welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great day today. So if I look a little different, it's because I now have a fringe. If you guys watched my last vlog that I put up, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to put it in the top corner here somewhere for you. Um, yeah, I got a fringe. I went to Dublin to my favorite hairdressers in the whole of Ireland, which is 01 Salon, and they cut me a fringe. And I love it. And I feel like a little kid again because I was one of those little kids with like the massive kind of block fringes. But to be fair, I think it suited me. Now I've been umming and ahhing for the last couple of months about dyeing my hair super dark brown. I'm just kind of over the blonde to be honest. I feel like I've been blonde for so long now. Um, and you're probably wondering, Stephanie, well why don't you just go back to your hairdressers and get them to dye your hair for you. And the reason is, is because I live in Galway in Ireland and my hairdressers are in Dublin, so that's like two and a half hours away. And I'm also going away for two weeks the day after tomorrow. And I'm just not going to get time to book in and go and see them. And you know, I have a pretty high opinion of what I can achieve by my own merit. So I am just going to diet myself. Now, um, I went to Boots today and I purchased... These two hair dyes here, it's the Boots own brand, which I have Googled extensively, um, and it appears that it is like the only cruelty-free hair dye brand, except for Kevin Murphy and some other ones you can only buy in salons. So, I mean, I had to go with the Boots own brand because it's the only one that was cruelty-free. So he's hoping it's gonna work for me. I'm also such a twit because I got home and realized I bought semi-permanent hair color instead of permanent. So I guess, I mean, if I like the color that it goes, I'm just going to have to go back and get the permanent color and then try and dye it on top of the semi-permanent so it doesn't wash out as fast. Now, I actually bought two different colors. I bought rich dark brown and I also bought deep red brown. And I think I'm going to try and like mix them together because I wanted kind of like a, a really dark ready burgundy color. But I also do have a heck of a lot of hair. Like everyone thinks my hair is regular thickness until they start like highlighting it or cutting it and then they're like you have so much hair so I bought two packets because obviously I don't want to run out and be left with like Cruella de Vil hair now I also have been warned that because my hair is so blonde if I was to put like a dark brown directly over the top of it it could go green <laughs> and I don't want green hair so I do have this already and I figure if I put this like red pigment in first apparently that's meant to counteract any green tones so I really bloody hope that works. This is from a brand called Infuse My Color. Um, it's like a 100% vegan, cruelty-free wash. And it's like a ruby color. So I'm going to put this all through my hair first. Then I'm going to wash that out. Then I'm going to put these two on and hope for the best. Oh, I'm probably going to end up with like a stress rash because like this is very nerve-wracking. I feel nerve-wracked right now because I really don't want to stuff up my hair. And I don't want my hairdressers to get angry at me. So, all right, I'm going to take this out. So this is my hair at the moment. It's not styled. I just blow dried it this morning. So yeah, it is clean. So I'm going to put this on first. Ooh, wish me luck guys. I've got an old jumper on. It's already like covered in stains. So it don't mind if I get hair dye on it. All right, I'm going to take my engagement ring off because I don't want to like somehow dye it. I think I'm just being overly cautious now. Comment down below if you have ever dyed your hair yourself. I want to see how many of you are like me and think that you can just kind of do everything yourself. Okay guys, so I've just sectioned one half of my hair. I'm about to put the red on. I hope I've got enough of this. I've only got half, not even half. I've got like a quarter of the bottle left. Okay, here we go. Oh geez. <laughs> Before I run out, I'm just going to have to start on this side of my hair. Whoopsies. It's like almost the same colour as my lipstick. What do you think guys, should I just dye my hair pink instead? Oh, still so much blonde. Oh. Does anybody else do this? I used to do this with like hair conditioner bottles and stuff as well. Just put like the end of my hair in. <laughs> and try and scoop out the product with my hair. In you go. Oh baby. That's just gonna have to do guys because this bottle is empty. So I'm gonna leave this on for probably another 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna go and wash it off and then I'm gonna start with the real hair dye. All right boys and girls, we're back. I have just washed the pink out of my hair. My hair is damp, but it doesn't say anything. I'm just being like reading the instructions. It doesn't say anything about whether your hair has to be dry, or damp to apply the hair dye, so I'm just gonna go with damp. Oh boy. 
boy. Okay guys, this is what we're working with. What do you think of this color? I actually, well I mean my hair looks like flipping haggard right now, but I feel like if my hair was styled in this color, it actually would not look that bad. Okay, so I've read through all the instructions and um, I've got to mix one of these with one of these and then apply it to my hair with gloves. So I'm gonna, a moment to shake this up. Yes, shake thoroughly, okay. <sighs> this is a workout and a half. Is it just me that's like scared when you shake a dye bottle that like the top is gonna come flying off and douse your entire room and person in hair dye? Right, now I'm gonna do the same thing but to this Okay, this one's not coming open. Darren! Oh no, got it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put it in my hand because I feel like this is what's gonna work easiest for me. Oh no! So this like has no tint, so it goes on completely clear, so I literally can't see where I've applied it. Uh-oh, I'm literally, I'm starting to get the fear now. Like, my hair is still pink, I can't see where I've applied hair dye where I haven't. Oh dear me. <laughs> oh no. Hopefully it starts to darken so I can see where I've applied hair dye and if I've like missed any areas. How did I used to do this when I was like a kid? I swear it was not this difficult and I was not this feared when I was a kid. I was just like, it's just hair, it'll be fine. Okay, that stinks. I'm gonna go open a window and a door. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ooh, there's some blonde back there. I think I'm gonna need Darren to come up and like do the back of my hair where I can't see it. Darren! Darren! Hi. He didn't want me to dye my hair. He likes my hair blonde. Where's my gloves? Here. Do I put them on? Yes. Right, what's the story? So, can you see, have I missed like any areas at the back? Like, can you see any little pesky blonde? You have to lift up my hair and stuff to look. Yeah, there's some there. Oh, well, cover it. I feel like you didn't do that right. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just knotting my hair. Stop that. Oh my god, what the f what have you done? You've matted my hair. I feel like I look like a witch. <laughs> you do. This is so different, so weird. <sighs> Um, I'm going to leave this on for 20 minutes, then I'm going to wash it all off. It does come with these little conditioning sachets, so I'm going to apply them afterwards. They actually have a keratin, keratin treatment in them, so it should make my hair feel super nice and soft. And I'm going to then wash it out, and I will show you guys what it looks like tomorrow when it's all clean and dry and brown. <laughs> So today is the next day and this is how my hair has turned out. Honestly, I'm so happy with it. I absolutely love it. Um, my hair looks like extra long. Let me show you. Yeah, so my hair looks like super, super long now that it's darker. My hair is not green at all, thank goodness. It's definitely different to how my hair used to be. Like I used to have no fringe and blonde hair, so this is gonna... Like, not gonna lie, it's gonna take some getting used to, but I really, really like it. Let me know what you guys think of my hair in the comments down below. Do you like it like this, or did you prefer me blonde? Either way, I'm gonna be keeping this hair color and this hairstyle for a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope um, this was interesting for you. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, here's my face. You can click on that, that'll subscribe you to my channel. And if you want to come and follow me on Instagram, I upload every day. And I also do little Instagram stories every day, like little miniature vlogs of my life. So here's my handle. I'll also put it in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.